pretty legit. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cigarette diesel in the mouth. At 9 a.m. at Daikaku. Diversity at its finest. We got a bunch of McLarens and other supercars here. McLaren meat happening over there. There's a Tesla meat happening over there as well. There's literally like 10 Honda Beats all lined up over here. Our friend Jonathan has one as well. I believe this one is his in red. Standard modifications on a Ferrari in Japan. We've got the stickers, the owner club stickers. More stickers over here. And of course, another sticker over there, 458 sticker. More 458 Spider stickers, another Ferrari sticker, more Calva case stickers, and of course the mirror right over there. Boom. And the aftermarket navigation, baby. This guy apparently dailies this fire truck right next to this Powercraft exhaust on this 360 with a wing. That's pretty cool. And to my right are some supercars from Anija, I believe, and a gold 599. Oh yeah, that's right. That's pretty crazy. RX-7 and the NSX Y-Body. Damn, that's pretty sick. here in Saitama we came across this random dealership here this place has got every single quirky car and max show stacky kind of car Alpines Lotuses Alfa Romeos check this out it's even got a TVR some Deltas over here TVR right over there boom excellent look at all these and a DeLorean oh what is this blue thing here Ultima. Ultima ish. And a DeLorean. <laughs> Amazing. What the heck? There's some strange stuff around here. There's more in the back, too. Huh. That's a sad looking DeLorean, though. Poor thing. Oh, look. Another a Tuscan. A TVR Tuscan. In pieces over here. I don't know if this counts as an abandoned spot, but that thing looks pretty damn dusty to me and sort of abandoned at a random dealership in Saitama. DeLorean DMC, huh, that's pretty cool. Oh, very interesting finds. We are currently here in Chiba at the Choshi port, I believe. Now we have a very special guest and that is Mr. Aaron Chun, hello. But, jokes aside, we have a very sick car on the dock right over there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're on the iPhone, boys. It is the Chupon Porsche 962 CR. But a little more on that in just a little bit. First things first, we got a bunch of cats over here. Hello. Let's go say that to the cats. Oh, look at these cats. They're quite plump. Oh, someone's feeding them. That's so cute. Originally, that car was matte black or black. It was painted yellow and now it's been repainted back to black so it's back to original spec original configuration from the factory we've been hanging out with the cats for like 10 15 minutes they're a little shy oh hello <whistles> but uh let's go talk about this shoop on porsche 962 cr right over there so give me a second we'll be back in a little bit there's a single man baning away on one of the tetrapods i guess they build them one by one either by hand or by machine you take the choice and we got the 962 cr right over here in between these two tetrapods getting a few more shots before the sun goes down dang oh we got all the boys right over there yo hello check out the interior Ooh. Oh. quick fun fact about the car before it gets loaded up they're about to build 50 of them Art Sports, a dealership in Osaka, was funding the program for Shupan. 
They're gonna build 50 production units, and then it went to 20, and now there's only six. The dealership Art Sports in Osaka essentially put $3 million of their own money funding the Chupon 962 CR. Unfortunately, they pulled out, and only six were eventually built. And this is one of them right here. Getting loaded up, photo shoot complete. Many thanks to Bingo Motorsports and Ken Saito for sorting this all out. Another day, another dollar. We're currently here with the Toyota Century doing a little bit of Gurahe spotting somewhere in Japan. We can't disclose any of the locations, but check these out. A lot of Subarus over here. All parked up. I think they're all one owner. These BMWs are here, a little dusty. I think these are notices of they might have to move their car. So I don't know if they're abandoned. That guy's window is just completely down. Oh, look at all the Subarus over here as well. Crazy. California Cobra replica. Ooh, that's a lot. Nice. The notice does not say you cannot park here. It just says you cannot park here without a front plate. Correction. Oh, look at this dusty Alfa Romeo. Ooh. Not sure what that sign says. This also has no front plate either. Definitely from the left to Mother Nature to take its course. No plate at all. Huh. Very unusual. And you've got another one over here. An Alfa Romeo 156. No plate as well. Oh, the tires are flat on the front over here. Meet the abandoned cars and supercars of Japan. Someone just left a pair of speakers on the ground there. Pioneer, or what is this? Uh, Prime speakers. That's pretty sick. A little 355 action three in black. I'm not sure what's underneath the cover here. Take your guesses, gentlemen and ladies, but we will not uncover that out of pure respect. Never ever uncover a car anywhere in the world. Aaron, tell me something about these Subaru cars. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty sick all together. But yeah. So this is the RA version. You got the roof. You can open the roof. Mm. Um, yup. That's the special color. The special color on the WRX. STI. Huh. What are these? Just like racing cars? Well, I think just like racing liveries. Racing livery? Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Quite rare right stuff up here. Yeah, Subaru's at least. Right. Sorry, guys. My Subaru knowledge is a little limited. Sorry. So I believe it's one collector. S202. Not sure what's under the cover here as well. Take your guesses. Now that's a dusty car. The suspension looks a little sad. Hey, actually, it used to look like the Mercedes S600 suspension before we sorted that out. But, uh, yeah, extremely dusty. There's like a bunch of bags in there as well. Jeez. Um, hmm. Well, it is what it is. Who thought there'd be abandoned cars lurking around these garages in Japan? But, yep, a lot of dust, some handprints, maybe an ass print. Who knows? Jeez. This one's a pretty easy one for you guys. A little Countach under a yellow cover. Dang, distinctive wheel arches, the wing, front bumper, everything. Nice. A Lotus over here with a bunch of stickers. Abandoned Lotus. Looking a little dusty as well. Yeah, don't really know the story to a lot of these cars, so it is what it is. If you guys have any idea what's going on over here, let me know in the comments below, but just a bit of dust. F12 and white, slightly dusty. Under the cover over here. Mini Cooper with a notice as well, no front plate. Over here, cover, AMG, GT, Portofino. Ooh, nice, the Landor. Not sure what this is over here. A couple more cover cars here. Distinctive Lamborghini Aventador. Silhouette underneath the cover. Ferrari holding. Let's see what else we got over here. This looks a bit dusty. That looks abandoned. A little Alfa Romeo as well. And of course, this guy underneath the cover. I'm not really sure what half these cars are under the cover, so take your guesses. Let me know in the comments below. We thought it was a scener, but it isn't. Ask tomorrow. Every time we see abandoned cars all over the world, oh, nice little ass model here. 
you always wonder, what is the story behind it? What happened to the owner? So many questions left unanswered. So little time. More Subarus over here, and of course, the Toyota Century in the background game. 911, Ferrari 488, maybe. Nissan GTR. Let's see what else we got over here. Oh, nice color on the G-Wagon. Very nice. Aston, Alpha, Rolls, Ferrari. Oh, that's brand new. That's pretty sick. We don't get these in the States. Still got the uh, Moroni sticker and the classic covering on it. Very nice color with the white interior. Like the 40th anniversary. It does look like the 40th anniversary color. I wonder if it is. Went down here. Okay. Do you guys want to get out here or no? Well, it depends what there is. Currently, right. no. Keep going, keep going, we'll keep going. Maserati in yellow. Making a quick stop here at Bingo Motorsports over here. We got a blue Elva with a tan interior, purple P1, F40, two F50s in yellow and red. We got the SVR Yota. We got a Pagani Wire BC in purple with the gold wheels. And we got some Tintin retro characters with the captain, Mr. Tintin, and Snowy the dog. Two F50s. And my favorite car right over here. That's right. The LFA Nürburgring in white. The interior is dark blue. Super sick. Very, very cool. Good selection of cars. Got a W140 S600, we leave. AMG package. These are Japan only cars. This is an S600 with the wheels, the body kit, the side skirts, the rear, and of course the V12 badge right over here. Boom, we're back on the iPhone for just a little bit. We just finished dinner and we saw this. Well, rather, Ken Saito saw this. He's got the AMG badge right there. Looks exactly like my car and the AMG muffler tips right there. Super sick find, super sick car in the rain here in Rapongi Hills. Damn, that looks gangster.